Pat and AJ Post Show for a Friday. It's a Friday, 14th of November. Means it's payday. I got me cash money. And I'm immediately going to blow all my cash this weekend. It's the ultimate sports weekend for myself. Uh, it kicks off tonight at the Joe. I'm going to my very first Red Wings game at the Joe. Of course, to play the Chicago Blackhawks, that's who I'm pulling for. My son Dylan is going to be in tow as well with us. I am very excited about this. One, because you're seeing you know, two uh, original six hockey teams play each other in one of the original stadiums. Um, but more so, I am excited because of the stadium, because of the Joe. Since moving here to Flint and, and, and talking about going to the Joe for something, Everyone just keeps warning me, like I'm in some for in for some kind of like apocalyptic type experience. They're all like, "Okay, well, it's the Joe. Um, it's not the nicest venue. Um, it's a little small. The seats are small. That's what everyone keeps telling me is that basically the seats of the Joe are are toddler size, and that we are going to be in close close quarters when it comes to the Joe." I am interested to finally decide. Now, the good part is going with my son, who is seven, I can kind of scooch a little bit on into his uh, side of things, right? Go, eh, 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 let me in. As opposed to getting uncomfortably close to someone that you don't know, which I'm trying to figure out. What is the etiquette on that? Because I recently went to a public event where uh, we all sat in very close quarters, and I had someone... Um, who was a larger person sitting next to me, kind of spilled over into my seat. And uh, in that kind of situation, because I've been in that situation too, uh, usually you try to then confine yourself the best you can to where you need to be. Uh, no, this person was very content with totally just getting all up in my bubble. I mean, we were arm to arm and leg to leg and belly to belly. And I, I was just like, really? I don't get any kind of restraint out of you? Like, you're not even going to attempt to maybe kind of scooch and say, no, you're going to come right out into my world. Okay. I call it the Lambeau Field experience. Anyone who's ever tried to go to Lambeau Field and sit on one of those benches. Yeah, they were definitely built when we were, when we were smaller. Hey, and by the way, here's another gripe. This is a, a Pack Can Complain Friday because AJ's not in studio with me. Please, 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 can we stop complaining about the school lunches? All right, we make our kids lunch, so I guess I can't talk from experience. AJ makes his lunch every day for him. But if i got to see one more person, one more parent, one more school student hop online and complain about their lunches, because it's not enough food. And how come uh, this, this amount of calories is supposed to fill up uh, someone in uh, sixth grade is supposed to also fill up the belly of a high school uh, senior football? Stop it! Stop it! Do you realize that we're still running commercials for nations in Africa? They're like, yo, give us a quarter and we can buy these people some rice today. And here we are complaining that our school lunches aren't big enough for us. We have so much food in America, you realize that we have television shows that are dedicated to us losing weight. That's how much food we have. We have like the biggest loser in all these weight loss shows. They're like, we have too much food. Stop eating all of it. Okay? Stop. You know what? If you hate school lunches that much, do what AJ does. Make, make a lunch. Bring it with. You can stuff it full of all the flaming Hot Cheetos you want that. But good Lord Almighty, stop complaining about your... That is a hashtag first world problem. And I'm done. Okay, I'm out of here. Ultimate Sports Weekend commences. Go Hawks tonight. Flying out to Chicago to see the Bears play the Vikings. I hope the Bears lose. And I hope you click on that subscribe button down here and subscribe to the Cars on YouTube channel so you can find out about all these fabulous videos as they hop online. Have a great weekend. Bye.